a man is known by the enemies he makes. And old Shellhead has fought some pretty interesting foes. Then fight bulls. Searching for me. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Iron Man villains. We must stop him. It's time to iron things out. Number 10, Count Nefaria. I don't know who you are, but prepare to fall by the hand of Count Nefaria. This Italian aristocrat has fought many of Marvel's top superheroes, but seems to really have it in for Iron Man. We proceed with the meeting and I will find out what the girl knows afterwards. And then I will deal with her permanently. Originally just a wealthy, power-mad aristocrat, Nefaria eventually stole the super strength and energy projection powers of a trio of other villains and became a serious supervillain. The Magia crime family rules Europe, and our presence in the new world is inevitable. Eventually, he changed into a being of pure ionic energy, making him virtually indestructible. Fortunately, Iron Man keeps managing to find ways to keep him in check, temporarily at least. Shall we begin negotiations, or would you like to try intimidating me again? Number 9. Fin Fang Foom. Nothing that lives can elude Fin Fang Foom for long. Marvel is noted for its freaky monster characters from the 1950s and 60s, and Fin Fang Foom may be the coolest of them all. A shape-shifting being from another world, Fing Fang Foom came to Earth centuries ago and assumed his dragon-like form. When Iron Man is no more, I shall tell you what you owe me. <laughs> he encountered Iron Man when the Mandarin attempted to use the creature against his armored enemy. I will tell you what I want, and then you must do as I ask. Agree? Yes! Fin Fang Foom's shape-shifting, enhanced strength, healing ability, flight, and awesome acid breath make him a formidable opponent indeed. <laughs> Number 8, Ultron. Nuclear missile launch in progress. Ultron is an artificial intelligence construct that has been housed in a series of increasingly advanced robotic bodies. No computers in this armor for you to take over, you piece of junk! Originally created by Hank Pym, the Ant-Man, Ultron was later revived by Tony Stark due to a hypnotic command Ultron had given him before he was destroyed. In the second Avengers movie, Stark and Bruce Banner accidentally give him life, not Ant-Man. You're all puppets tangled in strings. Strings. In the end, though, it doesn't really matter who created Ultron. He is always an immensely powerful being with a desire to destroy Iron Man and all the others who would stand in his way. Get out of my suit! Your armor, like all of humanity, is obsolete. Except your end. Number 7. Titanium Man. <laughs> Not yes. Titanium Man. I thought we finished him off at Magnetogors. <laughs> Several men have donned the Titanium Man's armor to do battle with Iron Man, and most of the time, they have some connection with the Soviet Secret Service. I'm the new and improved Iron Man! Clad in this mighty green armor, Titanium Man possesses strength greater than that of Iron Man and an array of other powers, including flight and supersonic blasts. The original Titanium Man has also been given treatments, which transformed him into an 11-foot giant. Whoever is wearing the armor, they delight in making life miserable for the armored adventure. Number 6, MODOK. I shall obliterate him at once! An acronym for either mental, mobile, or mechanized organism designed only for killing. Try pitching that to investors. MODOK was originally a human named George Tarleton, working for the organization of evil scientists known as AIM. MODOK controls AIM now and for. The AIM scientists used their knowledge of mutagenics to transform an ordinary man into this super-intelligent machine of destruction. MODOK quickly rebelled against his creators, taking over AIM to use for his own nefarious purposes. Not bad for a floating head, eh? In addition to his massive intelligence, MODOK possesses impressive psionic powers. He may look like a cross between Mr. Potato Head and an old purse, but even Iron Man has a hard time dismantling his plots. I shall activate the sub magma robot and uh, with your permission, of course. Number five, Whiplash. Good to be back. 
two different foes have battled Iron Man under the name Whiplash. The first created dangerous titanium whips, while the second uses awesome whips made of pure energy. The latter and more well-known version of Whiplash is Ivan Vanko, a Soviet scientist who is led to believe that Iron Man destroyed his village and killed his father. Vanko's energy whips are capable of cutting right through metal of just about any kind. Put them together with a sophisticated armor suit and Vanko's desire for revenge, and Whiplash becomes a force to be reckoned with. Number 4. Justin Hammer Hammer, I want to know what you're going to do for us. A billionaire several times over, Justin Hammer certainly has a head for business. When he sees an opportunity for profit, he takes it. As I would now like to call Justin Hammer our current primary weapons contractor. That includes arming and hiring supervillains, especially if they're going to do damage to his competitor, Tony Stark. Anthony, is that you? My least favorite hey, person on earth, Justin How you Hammer. Doing? You're not the only rich guy here with a fancy car. A behind-the-scenes manipulator, he makes sure that his criminal associates have everything they need to legitimately achieve success. And takes a considerable cut of the profits, of course. I want to make Iron Man look like an antique. I want to go to that Stark Expo. I want to take a dump in Tony's front yard. You know what I'm talking about? His brains, cunning, and money keep him out of the clutches of the law. But Iron Man is always one step ahead. Let me tell you something. Size does matter. Don't let anyone tell you different. This is an M134 762 minigun, six individual barrels. Number three, Madam Mask. Whitney, how touching that you remember my ever handsome love. But Whitney's gone. These days I'm known as Madam Mask, thanks to you. The daughter of Count Nefaria, Whitney Frost was the leader of an underground organization whose face became disfigured in a plane accident. Wearing a golden mask to hide her scars, she took the name Madam Mask. <laughs> can't even stand to look at me. Admit it. Admit it. A brilliant technician and a martial arts expert, she also commands a number of robot duplicates of herself. Madame Mask has a strange relationship with Iron Man, having been both his enemy and a love interest. You know what I want. Don't worry, Whitney. You'll get your jewel. It is not the jewel for which I worry. Take care, my handsome love. That's a dangerous combination even for a man whose heart is protected by the arc reactor. You win. Release everyone, and Iron Man will get you the eye. Number two, Iron Monger. And nothing is gonna stand in my way. Several people have worn the Iron Monger suit, but the most noteworthy is the suit's first owner, Obadiah Stane. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave with a box of scraps. Stain was a ruthless businessman and master chess player who used his keen psychological insights to manipulate others. All right, let's finish up here. Stain eventually took control of Stark Enterprises, ousting Tony Stark and planning to remake the company in his own image. Be that's only that's what we do. We're Iron Mongers. We make weapons. He also took Stark's designs for the Iron Man armor and created the Iron Monger version bigger and with greater capacity for destruction. I a great idea, Tony, but my suit is more advanced in every way. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Why did you stop? The Iron Man armor's lockdown procedures are being finalized remotely. By who? They're not so secret weapon. One unhappy ex-KGB camper named Crimson Dynamo. The Mandarin wanted the living laser to cauterize the corn crop immediately. You've got nowhere to go. <laughs> right. There's more than one reason why they call me Ghost. Number one, the Mandarin. My story begins here in the desolate heat of Central Asia, a wild and lawless place. Iron Man's most resilient adversary, the Mandarin is a genius in the laboratory, a deadly expert in martial arts, and a total megalomaniac. I was then an ambitious young archaeologist called Arno Brock, and I had come to seek my destiny, a destiny which would bring me the power to dominate the Earth. He possesses ten rings of alien origin, each of which gives him a special power. A master of both terrestrial and alien technology, 
The Mandarin has perfected a means of teleportation and of transferring his mind into other bodies. I have communed with the infinite and survived! His strategic ability keeps him one step ahead of the game in most situations, and his desire for power ensures he will never give up. My new powers were now quite literally at my fingertips! Iron Man may win the battles against the Mandarin, but he can never seem to win the war. I want him. Now go! Do you agree with our list? You have thought of everything as usual. What's your favorite Iron Man foe? Don't make me say it. I missed you. For more indestructible top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. As to the payment, well, <laughs> the checks in the mail. Ha, 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 ha.